Do you know how to assign IP address to a VLAN and how to create multiple DHCP server in your Cisco switch? If not, then this video is for you. In this video, I am going to show you how to assign IP address to our VLANs in Cisco switch, how to create multiple DHCP server and how to exclude some IP addresses from DHCP server. And in last, I will show you how to enable inter VLAN routing between your VLANs in your Cisco switch. So let's start it. Here you can see I already logged in to my Cisco switch and to go to privilege mode, I type command enable and enter. First to check the current VLAN configuration in this switch, I type show VLAN and enter. Here you can see in this switch we already have two VLANs, VLAN 30 named data and VLAN 50 named CCTV. We already configured these both VLANs in this switch in our last video. Also we assigned the first four port to VLAN 30 and port number 9 to 12 we assigned to VLAN 50. So to create the DHCP server in Cisco switch, first we need to assign the IP address or gateway IP address to our virtual interface also called VLANs. Now let me show you how to assign IP address or gateway IP address to our VLANs in Cisco switch. For that we have to go to global config mode first by typing config t and enter. And then we type command interface vlan 30 and enter and then we type command ip address and here we have to assign the ip address to this vlan interface i will assign 10.0.30.254 the last ip address as gateway and the subnet is 255.255.255.255 and press enter and exit from here. Here we successfully assign IP address to our VLAN 30 interface and same thing we will do for our second VLAN. For that we type interface VLAN 50 and enter then IP address 10.0.50.255.255 same here the last IP address as gateway and then subnet is 255.255.255.0 and enter and exit from here. Here you notice I assign the last IP address as the gateway 254. You can use the first IP address dot one or any IP address as gateway. As step one we successfully assign the IP addresses to our VLANs in Cisco switch and now I'm going to show you how to create DHCP server in Cisco switch. For that we type IP DHCP pool and here we need to give the pool name. I am going to create this DHCP pool for my VLAN 30. So I give name VLAN 30 and enter. You can give any name here as you like. Next we need to define the network for this DHCP server. For that we type network 10.0.30.0 and subnet is slash 24 the full subnet and enter. Next we need to define the default route or you can say the gateway IP address of this network. For that we type default route 10.0.30.0 this is the same gateway IP address that we assign to our VLAN 30 interface and enter. And next we need to define the DNS server. For that we type command DNS server 8.8.8.8. This is the Google DNS server IP and then exit. That's it. Now we will create another DHCP server for our VLAN 50. For that we type IP. DHCP pool this time I give name VLAN 50 and enter. Then again first we need to define the network for this VLAN 50 DHCP server. For that we type network 10.0.50.0 slash 24 the full subnet and enter. 
Next, we need to define the default route or you can say the gateway IP address for this network. For that, we type default router 10.0.50.254. This is the same VLAN 50 interface IP address. And again, define the DNS server. For that, I type DNS server 8.8.8.8 and enter and exit. That's it. We successfully create two DHCP server in our Cisco switch. One for VLAN 30 and second for our VLAN 50. Now before to check our DHCP servers, I will show you how to exclude some IP addresses from DHCP server in our Cisco switch. So that IP addresses will not be assigned automatically. To exclude IP addresses from DHCP pool, we type command IP DHCP excluded addresses and if we put question mark here, it will ask the low IP address first. Here we need to type the first IP address that we need to exclude. I type 10.0.30.1 And if we put question mark again, it will ask the high IP address means till where you want to exclude. This time I type 10.0.30.10 and enter. So our first 10 IP addresses are reserved or excluded from VLAN 30 DHCP server and will not be assigned automatically. Same thing we will do for our second DHCP server. For that we type IP DHCP excluded address 10.0.50.1 our first IP address and till 10.0.50.20. This time I reserve first 20 IP addresses in VLAN 50 DHCP server. Now in last, I will show you how to enable inter-VLAN routing between both VLANs in this switch. This will be enabled by one single command that is IP routing and enter. That's it. This command is only work in Cisco layer 3 switches. And if this command is not working in your switch, it means you have a layer 2 switch and you will not be able to ping or communicate between your VLANs and you need a router for inter-VLAN routing. Now I exit from global config mode and the most important step is save this configuration by command right and enter. Now it's time to test. I will connect my this laptop to the first four port of the switch. These ports belong to VLAN 30 and my other laptop I connect to between port 9 to 12. These ports are belong to VLAN 50. Now I take you to my first laptop screen and here you can see we get IP address 10.0.30.11 by DHCP. I hope you remember we exclude first 10 IP addresses from VLAN 30 DHCP server. That's why we receive next available IP address that is dot .11. And on my second laptop, I receive 10.0.50.21 via DHCP because here we exclude first 20 IP addresses. Now it's time to ping or communicate between both laptops. I open command from here in my second laptop and here I type command ping 10.0.30.11 our first laptop IP address and press enter. And here you can see it's successfully pinging. This has happened because my Cisco switch support inter-VLAN routing. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.